Hi guys, good day and welcome to our channel, MyPunch TV. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channels. Right, so today's lesson, I will going to showcase to you how to use this try catch and finally in new iPad. So, what exactly is this try catch and finally? Okay, so try catch and finally has three main sections. The first thing, the try section, it holds the activity that could thrown an exception. The second thing, catches. It specifies the exception type and optionally holds an activity that informs the user but the found exception. And the last thing, the final section. It holds an activity that should be executed only if no error occurred or if the error was already caught. Okay. So let's go to the UiPad Studio to see that in action. All right. So the first thing that we will going to do is to create a sequence activity to wrap up all the activities that we were going to work with. So search for the activity so called sequence. Okay, so from the display name, we were going to change the value in something like this. Try catch. Activities, right? Then put an annotation and add a description on the activities. Right. Right, and using try catch activities there are two ways. One thing you can drag and drop a try catch activities. Uh, for example, search for the try catch activities and drag and drop it. Right? Or another thing is just create an activities for example like this. And we're going to right click on it and hit this run with try catch. And there you are. All right. Okay, so the thing that we were going to do is this scenario. For, for per scenario, what we are going to do is we are going to use the activities called open browser. Then we will going to use the URL pakeaddressgenerator.com. Right? And after that, uh, we need to right click on it and surround with try catch. Okay? So from the Catches it. We need to put a activities and I'm going to use the system exception and put some message on. Exception that message. All right, so let's go back to the cry section. And as you can see here, our scenario is to create a activity so-called open browser. And as you can see here, we can open this um, URL in any type of browser. For example, IE, Firefox, Chrome, Edge. So for me, I want to use the Chrome. Okay. 
And the next thing that we were going to do, the second scenario, we were going to use the activities so-called get text to get the full name in the fake address generator application. After getting that value, we were going to create a variable and pass it to the output and show it to the message back. So uh, let me search for the activity so-called get text. Uh, first thing, we need to run our application for us to see if, if this application is working properly. Right? So let me hit the run button to see that in action. Okay, if we were going to open this browser, as you can see, we opened the fake address generator perfectly so we have this full name and what we are going to do in the UA path we're going to use the second scenario and we're going to leverage the get activities so drag and drop this get activities and indicate element inside the browser what we're going to get is this full name All right and after that uh, the next item is we're going to create a variable so there's there are ways to use the variable first thing if you want you can also create a variable here in the variable panel or just hit the control key and put the variable name your full name and press enter and there we go after that, we're going to create a message box and pass the variable name. Alright, and run it. Alright, so as you can see here, we get the full name. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that we will going to do is the third scenario that we will that we will going to put an explicitly error in our application for us to see if the activities is working properly. So what we expect right now, if we run our robot, the application will throw an exception, it will go and it will go through to the catch section. Okay, so let's go here in the get text activities, then go to the selector and um, make it explicitly error. For example, I don't know if we have a table row 100. Okay, so let's run it and see if it's working properly. So just wait for the UI path uh, because we didn't set the minimum amount of waiting time for about 30 seconds. Oh, there you go. Right, as you can see here, we get an error. So we are doing right now. So, okay, so we're done on it. So let's revert. So let me revert it back. Okay, so the next scenario, the port scenario, we will go into check the last section, the finally. So what we are going to do, just put a message back to see if the application will go through this section. So here in the finally, 
I just put a box then put a message on it this is a finally section Okay, so let's run our application to see that in action. So that's it. We're doing properly as we expected. So this is the final section. Alright, so that's all for me now in this lesson. If you have any question regarding the matter or any UiPath inquiry, you can do a comment or you can direct a message to me in the UiPath forum. If I have an ample time, I'm going to answer all the inquiry. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.